Once you have installed the WXS sensor at its correct height, either 0.8 meters to 1.2 meters, or in high mount at 2 meters, you can then begin the walk test. You should note that the sensor will be set to its fullest detection area, 180 degrees by 12 meters in depth. You should walk around the detection area, noting when the sensor is detecting. Establish your required detection area and then begin the customization. Remove the WXS sensor cover. For ease of customization, you can remove the sensor from its back box. First, make sure the sensor is set at the correct mounting height, either low or high. This can be adjusted by sliding up or down depending on your choice. Next, when you have your desired detection area, you can reduce the depth of the detection. This might be done should you have a path, for example, running in front of your house and you do not want to detect passers-by. The WXS sensor can be customised on the left and right. You can have separate detection areas for each side. Dip switch 9 should be in the off position if you are shortening the detection length. Once you close the WXS cover after customization, the sensor will perform an automatic walk test for three minutes. The LED will light red when detection occurs. Walk in and out of the area, noting when the LED blinks red. Now we're going to look at walk testing the BXS sensor. The BXS sensor is a curtain detector, perfect for those windows, doors, and in this case, garage applications. The sensor will be preset to 12 meters each side. After you have mounted the sensor to its desired position, check the sensor is triggering by walking either side. Once you have established the sensor is detecting, you can begin the customization of the range. Open and remove the BXS cover. You will be presented with two range adjustments. These are adjusting the left or right detection. In our case here, we want to reduce the right detection to only detect across the garage doors and turn off the left side completely. To turn the detection off on the left, make sure that dip switch number four is set in the off position. Then reduce the right side down to its desired range, six meters in our case here. Once you have set this, you can walk test the sensor again. Once the BXS cover has closed, the sensor will perform the automatic walk test for three minutes. When detection occurs, the LED on the side of the sensor will light red. As we have now reduced the detection range, we will get no alarms triggered on the left, and no alarms triggered beyond the garage doors on the right. However, we do get those desired alarms triggered if someone approaches the garage doors.